So my name is Zhu Kok Sing, executive chef at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital. My name is Grace. I'm a clinical dietitian that works in the wards, caring of patients, and also to work with our chef as a food service dietitian. My job in the kitchen is to develop menu and recipe. So now I have to work closely with our dietitian to ensure that we have to serve a nutrition meal to our patient and to create more interesting menu that's also healthy for our patient. Day to day, I go up to the ward to see patients. Every month, I will come down to the kitchen at least twice to do kitchen audit, whether they meet the standards, to ensure our patients' meals are always kept to a certain standard and especially therapeutic meals. For example, diabetic meals will be cooked with lesser salt, lesser oil and more spices to enhance the flavour of the, the dishes. I worked in clinical setting for I think almost six, seven years. I've been working in Ng Phong for four years. In this first place, I've been working in various uh, hotel quite long, about uh, 15 years. Previously, I worked in sports council, like uh, Singapore Sports Council for a good four years. Working as a clinical dietitian and also food service dietitian is totally different ball game. So we focus very much on our patients' care, get our patients to eat better, to recover better, faster. Ng Teng Fong General Hospital was the first kitchen to use cook chew method to prepare food for our patient. This cook chew method is full cooking of food in advance, followed by chewing and storage at the control temperature. This cook chew system added the benefit of making maintaining quality food, nutrition, values, flavour and appearance also. Every morning, our kitchen starts at 7 o'clock. After receiving the raw material, they will travel to our brush chiller. The next day, our kitchen cooking team will pull the trolley out from the chiller. Our cooking team will start to cook for breakfast, lunch and dinner, 3,000 meals per day. We have different teams to prepare and cook for our hala and non hala food. After cooking to the right temperature of above 70 to 75 degrees, they will push the whole trolley to the bulk chiller for our dishing team to dish the dish the next day. From there, our assembly and dishing team will load out the meal tray onto our AGV. is called automatic guide vehicle will send it to the wok and reheat the patient meal. Around the years, we will have festive seasons, Hari Raya, Chinese New Year. That's all sort of festive meals. For example, low residues. If Chinese New Year, we are doing the Peng Cai, we will actually modify and take out ingredients that are too hard. We'll replace the squid that is, tends to be a bit chewy and tough. So we replace with uh, something that's softer, like fish or chicken. The modification of the diet tends to be a bit more challenging. The mouthfeel and the taste will never be the same as compared to the original when you have the urge to eat and the cravings, but you can't actually have it as a normal dish already. In hospital, we have restricted ingredients that we can use. It's a challenge for me to think over and consult with our dietitians to make sure that this ingredient can be used for our patient menu. Of course, it will brighten my day when we receive their positive feedback about our food. It will show that we have achieved our goal of giving to our patient a pleasant meal. There's a patient of mine that was admitted as a stroke. After the rehabilitation, they progress on to be able to consume solid food like puree and then slowly to mince diet. When you see the patient's healing progress, you feel that there's a sense of fulfillment. Like, you, know, you feel happy for them, especially when the auntie uh, told you that they really appreciate your help, teaching the, the helper or the family members how to whip up a meal that is suitable for her. Although the texture is never be the same, but you know, she's happy that she can eat again. That's one of the times when I feel that I really enjoy my work. I enjoy talking with my patients, I enjoy helping my patients.